Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can add these really cool tag elements right here inside of your dynamic repeaters, like over here. Now the codes are very similar. However, there is a small difference in the way you set them up. And I'm gonna show you that in today's video. Also, I did forget to mention in the last recording, it's gonna be in the description of the video, but I did forget to mention that this video was actually created by another YouTube channel called Wix Ideas. They only have 2000 subscribers, so I would love it if you guys could go over there and subscribe because his videos shows a lot of cool things that you can do with Wix and a lot of different custom results and stuff like that. So I highly suggest you go check out this channel because I believe a lot of the videos here are very useful. So feel free to go share some love to this channel and subscribe. But let's get back to the video. So today we're gonna to be putting some tags right here inside of this repeater item. And all I want to do is just go ahead and add some text. We'll just do something like this. I'm not gonna connect it to data. I'm just gonna call this tags right here just like that. And then for the ID, we're also going to call it tags display, just like we did on the other page. Like I mentioned before, this one is going to be a little bit different. So what we want to do first is let's go ahead and call the database. So we're going to say dollar sign W and what's our database called? It's called projects database. So it's going to be right here. We're going to say on ready. We want a function to happen. And within this function, what we want to do is call the repeater. So we're going to say dollar sign W. Uh, let's go ahead and find the name of this repeater. So it's project repeater. So I want to come down here and select it just like that. And we're going to say on item ready. I want to say dollar sign item comma item data with the capital D and then what we want to do is another one of these just like that and inside of here let's go ahead and create a variable we're going to say let tags equal item data dot tags so this little tags thing right here is basically us calling the collection field type for tags. So if you remember watching in our last video, which if you have not seen that, I highly suggest you go check it out. We created this database. We created a new field with the field type of tags right here. And we need the field key and the field key is tags. And that is exactly what we put right here for this text right here. And now the only thing left to do is I'm actually gonna come over to our project name page and we're gonna grab this text right here for dot join all the way through dot join. And we're gonna bring it over to this all page real quick. And we're just gonna paste it in right here now underneath the dot join now what we need to do is say dollar sign item and we're going to say uh, tags display dot html is equal to tags html now unlike the last video if we go ahead and press preview uh, for some reason the tags display here. Uh, however, if we go ahead and press read more and actually open up editor X CMS, here is the tags display text on this page. And it doesn't show up here in preview. Maybe it would be different for you. However, for me, I actually had to publish the website and open it up here. So I will say if you don't see it in preview, if it doesn't look like it's working, try publishing the website and try opening the page up in a new tab in your browser and seeing if it is displaying correctly because that's the case for me. Inside the editor, 
in preview mode, it looks like this. However, on the actual live site, it will look like this. Now, once again, I highly suggest you go check out that video because we kind of coded the design part of it by hand. So if you aren't too familiar with what CSS is and how all of this works, basically each one of these different lines of code is designing how the tags look. So the background is the background color, color is the text color, and then font size is the font size. Yeah, and padding is basically the amount of space between the text and the edge of these little bubbles that it creates. So once again, you might have to play with those a little bit to get the perfect one that you want, but that basically wraps it up for the video. If you guys do want to use this code, it will be available on my website and it's also available on Wix Ideas channel. So if you do want to copy his code over, even though it's basically the same exact thing, go ahead and do that. Cause I think his video is right down here for displaying tags. And I did get this idea from him. So feel free to check out his channel again, subscribe to it. And also while you're at it, feel free to subscribe to this channel as well if you haven't already. But thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.